touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, I know I got soul, baby Baby, baby What's up guys, you already know what it is This guy King TV, I'm Pata Welcome back Um so I wanted to do this video and talk a little bit about submission, submission, since that's what's going on around right now on social media. As you already know, ladies are having a, a field day with this topic. And it's funny because, you know, kicking off Venus and Libra and Mercury and Libra season, let's talk about partnerships and, and relationships and balance and what goes into having a relationship, right? What's going on, it's funny that you see a lot of women talking about submission, and now motherfuckers trying to put their own spin on what submission is. The reason why it's so funny to talk about is because you got a lot of women who are having a field day with this topic. Now, as a man, submission, uh, in terms of what women are thinking it is, is, is why we're having this whole crazy field day with women. A lot of women don't understand what submission means. A lot of men think it means domination uh, and vice versa. But the funny thing about dealing with Tantra is that you understand that submission means having uh, a humility to the opposite gender. Simply. It means you got on the on the deeper levels, it means humility to the opposite gender. This is why it's so important. And submission is not just a one-way thing. So the funny thing about women talking about it and objectifying to it, you know, they, they are having a field day with this topic. What makes it so funny to me is this. I did a live earlier today, um, and I may upload it, I may not. The funny thing about it is this. Women are having a field day online talking about, well, this is, I don't want to submit to no man. I only will submit to a man who has this amount of money. They put certain types of uh, conditions on what submission means to them and when they will submit. I had a guy who said on 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 the live that I was doing earlier, he said that his girl told him that she won't submit to him until they're married. Now, I told him, I said, hey, look, let her take as much time as she need. You don't have to worry about being in no rush to get married. Tell her I'm not in no fucking rush to get married because if you're going to fuck with me and submit to me, you'll submit to me because you love me and you trust me as your head. It doesn't mean that I'm going to force you. No man should force a woman to have to submit. Now, a man will give women time to get through certain uh, triggers or trauma that they may have where they've never been in a situation where they had to learn how to submit to a man. A lot of the issues that goes on with this topic is because it's a systemic dysfunctional uh, uh, problem in our community. A lot of the times, women ain't grow up seeing their mama having to learn to submit to somebody. A lot of this has to be systemic, right? But aside from that, you have to want to have harmonious relationships with people. This is what it comes down to. You have to work through your own triggers and traumas because you want to have, you know, a, a harmonious relationship with the opposite gender. This goes for men and women. Because like I said, I deal with Tantra, man. And the reason why I deal with it on a high level is because submission is not for the weak. I want that to be known. Submission is not for the weak. As a man, we have to submit to our woman. But submitting to the woman is not what you think it means. Ladies, submitting to the man is not what you think it means. In the occult mysteries... You have to submit to the opposite gender. Why? Because on this planet, you are both genders. Men, you are half woman as well. You're masculine in the physical. But your other half is feminine, which is why it's projected outside of you. This is why you're polarized to like women. Ladies, you are a man. And woman, your masculine nature is what you project outside of yourself to attract. So, ladies, for you to get a grips with your masculine side, you have to be able to be humble to the masculine energy. And men, you have to be humble to the feminine energy. Now, in the occult mysteries, there's a thing of the secret lover. 
What is the secret lover? The secret lover in so many words is the gender that's outside of yourself. So as a man, our secret lover will be the feminine energy. That's why it's so important for you to understand what this whole thing goes. It's everything is connected to everything. So the secret lover is for a man is the woman, which is why he needs his woman. And in astrology and other occult mysteries, when you have archetypical energy, that is what you're attracted to as a man. In astrology, you have a moon sign and you have a Venus sign, right? And based on those aspects and characteristics of the sign, that's what you're attracted to outside of yourself. That's why you're attracted to certain type of females. I got an Aries moon. I like women that take charge. I like feisty women. I like women who know how to be aggressive because guess what? Aries is a masculine sign. The moon as a planet is feminine. So my Venus is in Leo. So what does that mean? That means that for me, I like women who are fine. I like women who are lively, who steal the show, who are beautiful, who are aggressive, who also knows how to be protective. Yes, I like my women to be protective. I like my women to be hella protective. I don't like no pushover women. She could be feminine, yeah. But she has to have that nature of being also protective. She has to be aggressive somehow. Babe, who that bitch over there trying to talk to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who this hoe? Who this hoe? I need to know. I need women who are like that, who are at least aggressive to keep me on my shit. Because I'm very masculine. I'm very powerful. So I need a woman who matches my power. That's because that's my feminine side as well. That's my feminine side as well. My feminine side is my moon and my Venus. They're fiery. You know what I'm saying? So these things are personified and I project that onto the women outside of me. If the women outside of me have these characteristics, I'm drawn to that. Then they become the, 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 the person who becomes my secret lover because I don't have a physical body for the female that I have on the inside, so she becomes that. Vice versa. This is why you got a lot of women who don't really know how to have a man. They don't honor the masculine energy within themselves. So when Fantasia talked about this, which I think is so funny, right? <clears throat> it's because you got Fantasia who been through a lot of ups and downs. She been through a lot of ups and downs in her in her in her journey, right? And for her to come to the the position that she's like, okay, wow, I've been doing this wrong. Maybe I've been cutting niggas off. Maybe I've been scared to deal with certain qualities. All of these things, right? And she's like, okay, I'm, I'm getting it. Half of these hoes that's been out here listening to her music when she talked about the trauma and the drama that she had in relationships, y'all was cool with that shit. Y'all was singing all her songs. Y'all was riding with her when it was all dysfunctional. But now when she want to clean that shit up, you immature women, you women who are scared of dealing with harmony and dealing with the masculine principle, you don't want no problem with her now. You don't want to follow her now. You don't want to listen to her now because she's talking about being in love, having harmony, and want to do better and want to have a harmonious relationship with a man. That's That scares you. That's why it's so funny. Because in this day and age, in our age of Aquarius, we're supposed to be dealing with having and exuding the principles of our opposite gender. We're supposed to be trying to be whole. An age of Aquarius and dealing with mental alchemy is about being able to align yourself and humble yourself to the opposite gender. To have that bridge. To connect with each other. That's how we will get through this shit. But it's, I think it's funny because when we talk about submission, women take it and run with it and then they define it themselves, but it doesn't do you no good to have the standards that you want to have on your own and create a delusion and thinking that a man is supposed to follow that. Ladies, a man is going to be the man. In the physical reality, the man runs it. James Brown said it best. He said this is a man's world, even though it's physical, but you got to understand esoteric principles. In the physical reality, the man gives everything structure. Structure is physical reality. That's masculine. Creative, color, movement, that's feminine. But structure is masculine. Okay? When you think of binary code zero is the feminine energy. The one is the masculine, the structure, the pillar. Everything around you, it says this. It shows you this. But you have to know that. 
But, you know, in terms of submission, I don't want to go too deep into it just yet, but I want to break it down, and I want women to understand this if you're watching, ladies. A man who loves the feminine does not seek to control you because you cannot control feminine energy. A man who understands these qualities knows that you can't control feminine energy. That's why it's personified by the moon. The moon is wishy-washy. It's unpredictable, right? The job as a man is not to motherfucking try to control the feminine. My job is to give you structure and grounding. Because trust me, women want structure and grounding. They hate to have to feel that energy all goddamn day with no motherfucking shoulder to cling on, with no structure, no pillar that they can cling to. That's why women are scared when they talk about submission online. Half of them women talking about it are scared women. They're little girls. No matter how old they are, they are little girls in a woman's body. Scared. Because they seen the shit happen with their mama or they experienced it through a lot of the fuck boys they dealt with or they don't want to be accountable for the niggas that they chose to fuck with. And they also are scared because they may not be um, familiar with their own masculine energy. They may not know what it takes for her to qualify a man as somebody she's, she's willing to submit to. A lot of women think that submission is going to be based on her terms and her terms only. Now, I will say this as a man. Because I got game. A woman is entitled to deal with any nigga she deal with. She's entitled to have that. If a nigga is willing to deal with a woman on whatever level, then she's entitled to have that. But as a man, I'm not entitled to be with you if you don't deal with me on my level either. I don't have to protect you if you're not willing to submit to me. You're not. If you're not submitting to me, then I don't need to protect you. You're not mine. You're not for me to protect. You're not under my leadership. You're not under my guidance. You know, so when there's mutual love and mutual respect with the opposite genders and there's humility between each other and trust between each other, then we can have those type of conversations. And that's where it takes maturity, love, and it takes compassion because you know it's not easy out here for either or. Everybody going through a lot of shit. Everybody been through shit before. But can you put it aside and say, you know what? I fuck with you. I deal with you. I like you. You, you. you know, you show me qualities about you that make me feel I can trust you. And it's vice versa because a man got to feel he can trust you too, ladies. So submission goes both ways and in terms of humility to the opposite gender. A man humbles himself to the divine feminine. He humbles himself to the woman he deals with and say, you know what? You are my queen. Submission does not mean that somebody's a tyrant. It means that we are both obligated to each other now that we are made it, we made it uh, consensual to be obligated to each other. You look out for me, I look out for you. Let's get it. You know, we become one. Let's get it. That is that is the nature of submission in terms of understanding from a tantric perspective. We humble ourselves to our opposite gender because we respect it. And we understand that we both play a part in helping each other become fulfilled and full in terms of understanding and identifying our own energy. You know, so... Didn't want to be too long. You already know what it is. God King TV. I'm Patai. Like, share, and subscribe in this motherfucker, man. I will stay touching all kinds of paper.